What's up everybody? My name is Hardy and this is WWE Shows Reviews 5. And I'm here with my Money in the Bank 2012 review. And uh, it was a great pay-per-view. I think it was an okay pay-per-view. Um, as you can see, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this pay-per-view review. Um, I went to the cinemas and watched it. And it was a great um, uh, like atmosphere in the cinemas. It was great. And, um, yeah, so the first match was the Money in the Bank, uh, Smackdown one, and it was a great match. Uh, it had Dolph Ziggler, Damian Sandow, Tyson Kidd, Christian Santino, Tansai, Cody Rhodes, and Sin Cara. Um, great match to start off, uh, Money in the Bank. It was fast-paced, everything was great, but Tensai slowed it down a bit, but everyone just brought it back up to that level, which was awesome. Um, and for the first time I was very impressed with Sin Cara, which was, um, very good, and he got my respect, so, good job to Sin Cara. Uh, there were a little bit of botches in the match, which I felt maybe they were really excited and a bit nervous inside, but, um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much usual, that they must be really excited and nervous inside that, <coughs> that they have to perform in front of, like, a lot of people, and, so yeah, um, it was a great match, and who won? The show off, Dolph Ziggler won, and I was just like up in my seat. Then there was a couple of people like near me in the cinemas, we were like jumping. Oh yeah, we're like yes, Dolph Ziggler won. And then we had the second match of the night, which was Sheamus versus Alberto Del Rio. It did not live up to the hype. The match it was very slow. Alberto Del Rio got most of the dominance in the match. But I, it just didn't live up to the standards that I thought it would be. And Sheamus retains the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. And before the Money in the Bank, SmackDown won, I rate a 4 out of 5 stars. And this match, uh, Sheamus versus Alberto Del Rio, I rate a 3 out of 5 stars. Then we have a great, this was funniest, I would say one of the funniest things. Uh, it was Primo and Epico versus the Primetime Players. And this was the funniest match. Oh, uh, this was a hysterical match. Between uh, the match, um, I think Rosa started dancing because Primo and Epico started getting some momentum in. And then Primo, uh, no, what's his name? AW was like, shut up, Rosa. You can't dance. And then start, Titus O'Neil starts dancing. It was awesome. It was a funny match. And then that, like, that was the whole thing that I just kept saying uh, when we were coming home. Shut up, Rosa. Shut up, Rosa. Oh, so funny. AW, you're a legend. But um, Primo and Epco win, and also the tag team champions, um, Kofi Kingston and R Truth, were at ringside for the match, which made the storyline progress. And maybe we'll get a triple threat tag team match between uh, Primo and Epco, primetime players, and um, um, and um, what's their names? Kofi Kingston and R Truth. Maybe at some point that would be a great uh, match. Even if it's like in the pre-show, that would be a great match. I would watch that. And then we have CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, with AJ as a special guest referee. And, oh, sorry, I forgot again. But the Primo and Epico match, I rated four and five stars match. Um, but then it was time for CM Punk versus Daniel Bryan uh, for the money, uh, WWE Championship. And um, AJ was a special guest referee. AJ did not do that much in this match. She got injured between the match. And then she got kicked out by the doctors and stuff, and it was a very s bad match between CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, I was expecting a whole lot more between these two guys, <coughs> and it was just really slow, and it just didn't get that much intrigue, it just didn't get me into the match, and I was surprised to hell that this match didn't get me living up to the hype, and it was just a boring match, really, and it was funny when Daniel Bryan was coming out, uh, everyone in the cinemas were going, yes, yes. It was also a great atmosphere, guys. That was an awesome atmosphere in the cinemas. Then we have Ryback. Oh, no, sorry. The CM Punk and Daniel Ryan match. I rate a three and a half out of five star match. It was, uh, and also Daniel Ryan got a new attire. He looks really good. Then we have Ryback versus um, Kurt Hawkins and Tyler Rex. This was not a typical Ryback squash match. Um, Tyler Rex pretty much was 
MVP in the, in the match, in my opinion. Sorry about that, guys. And he just pretty much dominated the living daylights out of um, Ryback. And he showed that he is strong. I love T-Rex on NXT. I watch him on NXT. So, same with uh, Kurt Hawkins. He's, he's a pretty good guy as well. And they should challenge for the tag team titles after SummerSlam if they get a shot somehow. And then we have a, a three... Oh no, a six man. No, oh no. And then we have oh, the Ryback match. I rate a three. Oh, I rate it up. Actually, three point five out of five stars match. And then we have um, a six man, six diva tag team match. Oh, I was so excited for this. I wonder what who Layla, Caitlin, and Tamina were gonna face. And guess who it was? It was the Glamazon. I was happy. Glamazon was on pay per view. Natalia, one of my other favorite divas. And who? My God, it was Eve. She was on pay per view. I was happy, and I was just glued to the screen. I was just like looking at Eve the whole time, and then um yeah, it was a pretty okay match between all six divas. Ended really quickly. It was only like a three or four minute match, um and I'll rate that a three out of five stars match. And then um oh damn guys, I forgot the Miz came back and cut an awesome promo. Uh, I think it was early in the night. Uh, he cut a great promo. Um, saying that he's going to be in the Money in the Bank World, uh, the WWE Championship one, and he's going to put himself in the match, and he's the mo and he's like, he looks awesome now. He's got awesome hair. I want that hair. He looks, I'm jealous of the Miz, and he's wearing that awesome jacket, and the Miz was wearing a suit, and he just looks smart on. Always awesome. So, um, yeah, Miz puts himself in the match. For the main event, which is John Cena versus The Big Show versus Kane versus Chris Jericho versus The Miz, uh, for the Raw Money in the Bank match, uh, it was a slow match. But the awesome part was when John Cena, a aid, The Big Show shoot through the Spanish announce table, and then everyone just chucked ladders on Big Show. That was awesome. It was funny as hell. And then um near the ending, oh pretty much MVPs in this match. Were John Cena, Miz, and Chris Jericho. Great, um, uh, great three people. Um, as much as I, um, thought Chris Jericho or Kane would have won, it was John Cena who won in the end. I was kind of upset, but it's okay. Um, I think John Cena is going to cash it in, um, very soon on CM Punk, maybe at the Thousandth Raw, or maybe at SummerSlam. So anyway, um, smash the like button if you like this pay-per-view. Some people didn't, so I'm not expecting that many likes. Uh, but overall, I rate this pay-per-view uh, 6 out of 10, uh, being really generous there. And by the way, the Cena match, uh, uh, the Raw Money in the Bank match, I rate a 3 out of 5 stars match. Um, and yeah, so smash the like button if you like this um, review and Money in the Bank. I don't... I liked Money in the Bank, but it was just filler pay-per-view. But anyway, smash the like button. Comment your thoughts on Money in the Bank. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you not? Um, did you order it? Did you go to the cinemas like I did? And subscribe up there to me. And then you can become part of the WWE Shows Reviews 5 Army. So, peace out, everybody. And I'm signing out.